Every now and again we get a project that falls into the totally crazy category. This would be one of them, Bob Maddox Pulse Jet Lakester. With a thousand pounds of thrust, this baby's going to fly. Of course, the Germans were the ones that originally developed the Pulse Jet, but what a lot of people don't know is Ford developed it too. That's right, under the Loon program in 1944 in the Willow Run Bomb Assembly Plant, Ford actually developed these motors and ran them. So this is the unknown Ford project. We call it the Lunatic. Okay, Chinese fire drill. Oh, take the steering wheel off. Don't hit the red button. Whatever you do. I was close, Bob. I almost hit the red button. Oh man. Let me get out and throw this thing. <laughs> Got it. Alright. Not for the guy it's built for. Ah, now he looks much better yes. in there, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and so we're inside the car right now, so let's look at see what we've got. We've got our butterfly steering wheel, which comes off, so we can get in and out, because it's a very tight fit in here. Car. So let's look in the controls of this bad boy. We've got our main switch here that turns on everything. We've got our spark and air. Our air is 130 PSI. Our spark is 7.4 million. Then this switch is the main switch. So we throw that, starts our main injectors that fires the engine, it goes to uh, uh, about 500 pounds of thrust. We flick this switch, starts up the second injectors. We have a volume control down here that controls the amount of fuel that we put into the second injectors and takes us up to full throttle. These aluminum intakes that look just like a jet fighter intake, it's exactly what they are. We're pulling air in off of the surface of the front of the car. It's coming in, feeding our intake of the jet engine, so we've got plenty of air into the engine. Then the rest of the engine bypasses, the rest of the air bypasses down, comes around the engine, pulls all the heat off of the engine so we don't overheat our engine, flows down the car and off the back. This pulse jet engine runs on an atomized gas air mixture that is continuously injected under pressure into the combustion chamber. The mix explodes in the chamber, which closes the one-way revalve in the nose and creates thrust when the gases rush out of the end. After each explosion, a negative pressure is created in the chamber that opens up the one-way valve and sucks in fresh fuel and air. It also pulls fire back up the tailpipe repeatedly touching off the fresh fuel mixes in a regular pulse. So um, our chassis is an inch and a half steel tubing that runs all through the, the car, all the way to the back. We have drop axles, front and rear. Actually has front axles, front and rear on it because uh, the, the front steers and the rear doesn't, but we just locked them out. Uh, on, the, on the front and rear, we have Goodyear uh, Eagle tires. They're rated to 500 miles an hour. These tires actually are what you would uh, normally see on the front of uh, top fuel dragsters. We did our uh, first test run over at the dry lake bed at Cedarville uh, with Ray Rosa and his crew last year. Had a lot of fun. Had a few issues. We had a tank that wasn't venting correctly, so it uh, didn't run as long as we wanted to, but we're getting her all put back together this year. and We're going to go over and, uh, and put down some, some good times this year. Okay, how fast, when and where are we going to run this thing? Well, SCTA doesn't recognize thrust, so you won't see it at Bonneville during Speed Week, unfortunately. 
but how fast will it go? The original V1 was a 4,500 pound rocket with a 2,500 pound warhead that flew at 450 miles an hour. Our motor is in a drop tank Lakester that doesn't weigh 1,000 pounds, so you do the math on that one. It should idle to over 200 easily. Stay tuned, and Bob is going to be the one that presses the full throttle button. Wow. Hey, hook him up, hook him up, hook him up. Bob, I actually think we can make it into the Guinness Book of World Records with this car. Yeah, we will. And when we get them out here, we'll, we'll set the, the Guinness record for jet-powered skateboard for jet power. Okay, I think this is Guinness calling is right that now. Them right now? This is them. I'll be the Guinness? Hello, is Guinness? Yes, we have the world's fastest jet-powered lake. Fastest in the world. Is that what you're calling about? Hello?